Welcome back, everybody. Still, still working on our mansion. So let's go down here. Last time we did the uh, wine cellar. And in between, I actually laid out, I got all the roof in, or the ceiling, I guess. Got the hallways all laid out. And got all my rooms all marked off. So these four over here are going to be the bedrooms. And then I carved out a little area back here. This is going to be the bathroom. I haven't figured out the floor. I think the floor is going to be like white concrete or diorite. Since it's going to be, this is going to be the bathroom area. And then I'll separate it off. We'll have like a row of sinks. And then a few showers. And... Maybe laundry or something over in this corner. So it's kind of a, a shared bathroom for everyone down here. So I'm going to have to figure out probably the sink area will be more public. And then the little showers are all be maybe a couple compartmentalized showers. So they are uh, got a more privacy. And then over here, I'm going to put in a kitchen area and a basically dining seating area and I haven't finished all the walls but those are easy to do so we're going to just kind of fill in all the walls like this there and uh, just get rid of this one. Oops. Oh, come on. There we go. Having trouble getting my tools. Maybe the door could be here. So I figure like the wall. Well, let's put it in the floor here. We got our floor. You notice know, everything down here is stone brick which is a big contrast to what I have up above because this is more of a not industrial but it's more of a you know less refined since this is where all the servants live the fancier stuff is upstairs where the uh, people who own the mansion live Let's see if we, if I put in a door over here, door into the kitchen. No, I think I'll put the door, I think I'll put the door in the other hallway. So that'll be, so you go through here and then the door would be like here. I can do this actually there I only need solid blocks around the door itself let's see and then so we go in here kitchen's gonna have a stove I definitely need a crafting table And there we go. This and this. And this and this. So I think I can put stoves over in this corner. Maybe like that. Actually, no. Actually, let's put this. We're going to put the stove flat up against there. So we have a stove there. And then in the middle, we will have maybe like this. Is that too close to the door? Oh, no, no, it's not because it's a kitchen. It's a working kitchen. There. 
Well, this gives us room here. We get room here. So this would be where the sinks go, right there. There's kitchen. I think I'm going to leave this open here for a doorway. Which means I need to take out, oops, take out this. Like that. Yeah, we can just, uh, we'll do this. I've got light there, I think. I think that'll be fine there for lighting. I'm just trying to see if I need more lighting in here. I guess I could put um, another lantern or lamp in the ceiling, I think. I also want to put that up there. I think that takes care of that. I don't have anything on the walls though, so I do think I need like some cabinets there. And oh, I didn't bring my trap doors and some trap doors. Well, also, oh, I did have an idea. Let's see if we're going to try this. I think let's put this over here. I had an idea for a stove. So we're going to put this trap door here, like that. Kind of like a grill. Yeah, there. Grill with this big front end on it. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. I think that looks good. I just need to finish in the upper cabinets and then we might be done with the kitchen part. Oh, I need a door too. And I don't think I brought, yeah, I didn't bring any wood, so oh, I'm unprepared. Okay, there's a door. And then we're just going to put some shelving across the top. And some shelving over here with a couple more cabinets. I think that looks good. maybe one more there. And then a little bit of fresh herbs for cooking. Okay, so there is our kitchen, and then this is going to be our dining room. Lounge. Dining room slash lounge. So let's do this. Oh yeah, it is a little dark in here. Not spawnable dark, but just kind of annoying dark. And I think I had the same problem over here, yeah. That's why I have the chain and the lantern. So let's, I'm going to put it, let's put it right above there. Yeah, that lights it up. So let's say we have our dining table. I'm going to put it over in this corner. So let's put chair, 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 chair. So there would be our dining table. So 
So that means I probably want here and here. That's good. Let's put a big picture, a couple big pictures here. And then this wall. So like that corner over there, we're going to put in a couch. So we'll put like a bookshelf. Is that silk touch? bookshelf there and then um, couch and maybe just a barrel there anything else do I need more lounge stuff I figure just a place for people to sit and look you know they're gonna sit and eat dinner sit and read a book if you're reading a book, you probably want a light, so we're gonna put another one there. There. Oh, come on, you get three of the same ones? Four? I don't even know what that is. There's got to be more than one of those big ones. <laughs> and it gives me a tiny one. There, we'll just go with that one. Oh, and a door. Okay, so now we have our kitchen area and our dining, eating, lounging area. I think that looks quite rustic compared to what I have upstairs. So that's more more in tune with what would go with the uh, with the servants. So I got distracted. I thought I brought some more. I just need like 10 of them maybe. I thought I brought some more with me, but I didn't. Okay, so we got that one. So now we just need to work on these bedrooms here. So we'll start with this room. It's dark now. We're going to have to figure, I think, I don't think I'm on a door on either side. So maybe the door would be on the other hallway. So this hallway is just for getting to the kitchen. And the other hallway is getting to all the bedrooms. Just uh, fill this in. Oh, brother. You know, this fill it in would go better if I actually could place the blocks where they're supposed to be. Let's see. So if I put the bed over in this corner here. Little nightstand. Door. Put one of these new bookshelves there. There, that's good. Boy, these are big rooms. I didn't, I didn't uh, realize these rooms are this big. 
I guess if you are, uh, you know, living here permanently, it makes sense to have a nice big room. I'm going to put a light in this corner. Which means this is probably where the little table's going to go. Okay, if I do kind of like that, like a banquette. Table here. I guess a, more of a couch over in this corner. That's good. Here, there. Let's not do that. That's a little a little big for the space. These paintings are a pain sometimes because you can never get the one you want. And some of them look too huge for the space. So what do we have? We have an area here, here, here. I don't know what to put over here. Maybe, I guess like dresser. That, just like um, what do they call it? Not a makeup stand, just a little dressing area right there. Which means I probably need another light. There, like a dressing area for getting ready in the morning. Let's see. I think uh, that looks pretty good. Other than maybe getting a carpet for the middle. I think that uh, that works for the, the first room. I was thinking, do I want a picture on the? Yeah, maybe a couple pictures on these walls here, just to break it up. But that's too big. Maybe one of the like a smaller picture. There we go. Oh, no, that's not good. I forgot they stand out from the wall. So if you look at them on the side, they look weird. They're fine if you're staring straight on. That one's not so bad, but still too big. So I think what I'm going to do, if I pop a few squares out, and then this is where my, uh, the painting will go. I'm just going to put a couple of these little square ones on the walls. Oh. Like that. There. Makes the, makes it look a bit nicer because it's not a big solid wall of brick. Uh, maybe... Let's see, I've got, if I take four of these out. There, that works. There, that's my new way of putting paintings in. Yeah, that one will work fine. And then I can do another, maybe like this here and this here. Oops, I need more painting. I think that that's gonna have that's gonna be uh, the way to go. Sticking them out on there, I think that looks a lot better. And you don't have that funny gap behind there. But it looks like uh, I'm running out of time for today, so we will finish this up in the next episode. 
So thanks for uh, tuning in, and I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.